hit that like button. Sit back, relax, and let's begin. So, we have a lot of video game news this week. So, uh, let's jump in with, uh, with the Fortnite news here. So, uh, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this Fortnite season. Uh, there, there, let's say there have been a lot of conflicted kind of dates where people are saying the new season is going to release. Um, a bunch of people are saying August 25th was going to be the last day of the new season, but then the update for the new season will come out, uh, sometime later that day. So we don't know if the season is going to be starting on the 25th of August or the 26th. So around that time, Epic Games is most likely going to shut down the Fortnite servers and release a big update for the next se uh, next season. So uh, there has been like a few reports uh, from some people saying that it might be delayed because Epic Games is being very kind of secretive and quiet right now. Like, they have not confirmed anything, and we're like a week away from what apparently should be the new season. Um, some people are saying that, have looked at the Fortnite files, that uh, we might get like an extended, you know, bonus week, where maybe the new season comes out sometime in September, like the beginning of September. Uh, Fortnite has done this in the past, where they kind of, do like an extra week um, where you can unlock some new edit styles for some skins and they delay the new season, but I don't think they're going to do that. They would have announced something already. Personally, I think that maybe the servers will go down around August 25th in the afternoon or evening, and then on the 26th, probably early morning, uh, we should be getting the new update for the new Fortnite season as the old one ends. So. That's what I'm hoping for, but anything is possible. Uh, there's a lot of rumors going around right now um, that the new season is going to be about, like, the kind of, like, eclipse. Like, there's actually going to be a solar eclipse. Uh, everything is pointing at something happening in the sky, especially at the end of the season, so we don't know what that's going to cause. Uh, we are entering, you know, autumn, and usually Fortnite likes to do a kind of, like, creepy Halloween type season for autumn and Halloween and stuff, so we might have something tie in with the sky, with zombies possibly returning to the Fortnite map. Who knows? Um, there have even been rumors that Epic Games is going to have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, skins in the game, and the new season is somehow going to tie in with the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I, I don't know if any of this is true. That's just what I've been hearing. So there, there seems to be a lot of crazy and just amazing things being said right now, but nothing, absolutely nothing is confirmed. Uh, I've been, I've been even hearing people saying that Luffy from One Piece is going to be like a special character. So who knows? Uh, I guess we just have to wait and see, but I am very excited. So, let's see what else do we have next after the Fortnite news. Uh, so the Red Dead Redemption uh, remaster, I guess, came out uh, for PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. And let's just say reviews have been uh, kind of mixed. Like, some people are like, yay, Red Dead Redemption, amazing. And then there's a lot of fans that are very angry that, you know, the online is not included in the remaster. Um, there have been, like, screenshot comparisons of the remaster with the regular, the older version of the game. And people are saying, like, the textures look basically the same in some areas. So, yeah, the, this remaster that they did for Red Dead Redemption looks pretty simple. Like, they didn't really do much with it. Uh, one thing that people are really angry about, though, is apparently the PlayStation 5 version. Like, on PS5, it runs at 30 FPS, which is just crazy. Like, the PS5 can play games at 120 FPS, and yet Red Dead Redemption, a game from the Xbox 360 era, is running at 30 FPS. Uh, of course, the resolution is 4K, so at least you have good resolution, but... 
no 60 FPS. That is uh, a little bit strange. Maybe they'll update that in the future. Uh, some people were suggesting that the game would actually break if it ran at 60 FPS because a lot of animations from the old game were made to be 30 FPS. So if they fix that or change it, it could cause problems. So I don't know. Uh, this remaster or yeah, remaster HD port uh, was not made by Rockstar. It was made by a third party studio that Rockstar paid. So uh, I, I think you can basically tell in just the quality, but the game has been selling pretty well. It's at, it's like at the top of the charts on the PlayStation Store and on the uh, Nintendo Switch Store. Like, let me check right now. Even on my phone as we're speaking, I can go into the PlayStation Store because I got it on my phone as well. And let me see. Like, it should be right here on the front page. Yeah, right there. I see it right there on the front page. Uh, so yeah, the game is doing pretty well if it's up here. People are definitely buying it, but yeah, uh, definitely a little bit expensive for a port of an older game. And you can actually buy the Xbox 360 version on your Xbox One or Xbox Series X and S. And that version runs really well, looks amazing, and it's much cheaper. So if you got an Xbox, maybe go with that version. But uh, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed in Rockstar just with this remaster. I, they have so much money. They could have really made something amazing, like given us like a fantastic remake of the original game with better graphics, online, all these features. But they, they chose to do basically the simplest option. <laughs> I'll never understand Rockstar's decisions uh, sometimes, but hey, uh, at least some fans are enjoying it, and if you've never played the original Red Dead Redemption, it's the best way to play it right now, I'd say. Uh, we got more Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 uh, trailers and news this week. Uh, there's a full-on gameplay reveal trailer, and we got some, you know, uh, news about the first details, like, regarding the game, what we're going to be able to expect, and we got a couple of screenshots as well, so, yeah, Activision definitely releasing more and more news every week, trying to build up hype for Modern Warfare 3. Uh, there was some controversy about this, though, um, apparently, like, data miners that got access to some, somehow, uh, internal, like, news about the game and the code or something, they noticed that Modern Warfare 3 is almost DLC for Modern Warfare 2, and uh, Activision apparently had to come out and say, like, no, 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 this is a full-on new game. But people that have looked into, like, the internal kind of, like, naming for the website uh, and just stuff regarding the game noticed this, and a lot of people were kind of curious how come we got Modern Warfare 2 last year and we are already getting Modern Warfare 3 this year because, for those that don't know, Call of Duty, they usually have, like, the Infinity Ward team working on another game. They have Sledgehammer working on another game. Uh, every studio for Call of Duty is working on a game in the year that their game's not releasing. So, like, let's say we get Black Ops 1. The next year, they got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And then the next year, they got Black Ops 2. And then the next year, they have Advanced Warfare. That's pretty much how it's been. But recently, there was a change. And uh, that's why everybody was kind of confused. Like, yo, we just got Modern Warfare 2, the remake. And uh, here we are with Modern Warfare 3, like, super soon, the next year. Like, how is that happening so fast? And basically, what they discovered is that... This game was going to be some kind of DLC expansion to Modern Warfare 2, and then they just use the same engine, same characters, things like that, to make some new maps and new story mode. But people are saying that this game should not be full priced. It should be like a 20 or $30 DLC add-on to the current Modern Warfare game that just came out last year, but that's definitely not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> But it is interesting, so whenever somebody says that Activision makes the same Call of Duty game every year, this year 
is maybe the only year you can actually say that's really true because even in the game's code and things everything is looking very similar at least from what i've heard from like data miners that have gotten into the details about this stuff so pretty crazy uh i'm sure activision is not happy with people saying this stuff though um Next, we got some news about Minecraft. Now, this is actually really awesome. So, Minecraft, for those that don't know, does not have a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X version of the game. If you have an Xbox Series X or S or a PlayStation 5, the version of Minecraft that you play on those systems is the PlayStation 4 or Xbox One version which came out like six years ago or something. Like it's an old, old version of Minecraft. It is not new. Uh, PS4 came out a long time ago. Xbox One came out a long time ago. And that's when those versions of Minecraft came out. So apparently uh, people were looking at the ratings for upcoming games and they noticed that there seems to be some kind of enhanced version of Minecraft coming out for the Xbox Series X and possibly PlayStation 5. So this means maybe, you know, 120 FPS Minecraft, possibly uh, maybe more features. You know, if you ever played Minecraft on PC, it runs extremely smoothly compared to, you know, the console versions. Uh, it even has more features and things usually. So, hey, if the PS5 and Xbox Series X gets basically a PC version of Minecraft, I'll be so happy. So hopefully that update comes out soon because, uh, yeah, it looks like, you know, they're going to announce it anytime because it was basically uh, discovered on a ratings website, just like the Red Dead Redemption 2 remaster. I mean, Red Dead Redemption remaster was uh, discovered. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, I'm trying to go through all the big news. Okay, wow. Um... So Microsoft announced that the Xbox 360 online store is going to be shutting down next year. So yeah, it's an end of an era. Uh, wow, I know a lot of people that grew up with the Xbox 360 or, you know, uh, the, they were around the Xbox 360 even if they weren't there when it launched. Maybe they bought it a little bit later, but yeah, Microsoft finally going to be shutting down the store. Uh, and they're going to be actually delisting de a couple of games as well pretty soon. Uh, it's not a lot of games, just a couple. There's like a list of like uh, 10 or 20 games that are going to be removed, which is kind of kind of strange. But uh, yeah, they said, you know, the Xbox 360 store was not supposed to stay up forever. So after all this time, they think it's a good time to pull the plug and kind of quietly shut down the online store and uh, it makes sense you know most xbox players are on xbox one or xbox series x or s but uh they at least said one nice thing and they said that you'll still be able to buy xbox 360 games on the xbox series x and s store so like right now let's say i want to buy like sonic unleashed i can just go on the xbox store right now on my xbox series x and I can buy the Xbox 360 version of Sonic Unleashed. And there's a ton of other games on there too, like Call of Duty Black Ops and just a bunch of fantastic Xbox games. So that shop will still be there. It's just the Xbox 360 version of the store that's going away. So uh, yeah, it's an end of an era, definitely. A lot of people are gonna miss the Xbox 360 online store when that shuts down. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Um, apparently, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has sold so much that it has boosted the overall economy and Japan's, like, GDP numbers for this year. <laughs> so that is crazy. Imagine one video game alone basically boosting the GDP of Japan, and for those that don't know, that's basically like the growth um, domestic product, which is a way that like you can value or measure the economic performance of like a country. So basically, I guess Nintendo is like so huge that it being in Japan 
and selling this huge hit game actually boosts the overall GDP numbers of Japan in the entire world. So, like, that is insane. That's basically, like, imagine if, like, America releases, like, a movie, and that movie alone, like, let's say John Wick, boosts the GDP of America by, like, 10% or something crazy, you know, impossible. Even 1% would be amazing. Like, what? How, how high did John Wick boost the GDP? So... Uh, pretty cool to hear that a video game did that. Uh, that just proves that Zelda is just insanely popular all over the world. So I'm sure Nintendo is super happy with this news. That game is still selling every single week. People are buying that game. Wow. Uh, apparently Assassin's Creed Mirage uh, release date has been moved to October 5th. So, uh, yeah, that is the latest in the Assassin's Creed news. Uh, looks like Ubisoft will be sticking to this date, though. So, October 5th, uh, if you're an Assassin's Creed fan, maybe pre-order the game. Uh, I haven't really been seeing a lot of trailers for this one, which is kind of strange. But, hey, at least it is launching a little bit earlier than they planned. And, uh, yeah, looks, looks great. They say it's a return to classic Assassin's Creed. So we just have to see how it plays when it releases, but I think this game's gonna do well. Uh, what else, what else do we got? This is really good news, actually. Rockstar hired a team of previously, uh, banned GTA 5 online modders. So, for those that don't know, uh, GTA 5 has an online, uh, kind of like world that a lot of people love playing. And there is a way to actually have your own servers for GTA 5 Online. And there's a lot of hackers and modders or people that create their own servers and own communities with, like, modded, uh, just content stuff not made by Rockstar. And people will play in those and they'll be very, very popular. Uh, well, I, I think this happened, like, a few years ago, but they banned, like, two of the biggest kind of unofficial... Uh, modded servers and apparently now we discovered that Rockstar actually hired everybody from those teams so they banned them but then they were like wait a second you guys were really talented let's give you a job here at the company so uh apparently it seems like those people are actually working possibly on GTA 6 so that is amazing like can you imagine like modding GTA 5 and then the developers were like whoa they're actually pretty good. Let's get them to work with us. So I'm sure they're very happy with their new job. That's like the best way probably to get a job, uh, except for the band part. I, I hope they at least gave them their, uh, their OG accounts back if this happened. <laughs> I would be really mad if like Fortnite banned me and then gave me a job at the company. I would be like, wait, can I have my account back though? <laughs> um, and then the last and final piece of news, uh, apparently a video has surfaced of footage of the PlayStation 5 Slim. Uh, honestly, nothing has been verified, nothing is official, this is all speculation, but yeah, somebody recorded a video of something that looks like a smaller PlayStation 5. Honestly, it looks very similar to the regular PlayStation 5. But, uh, people are calling it the PS5 Slim. And if you look at it, it does look maybe a little bit smaller, but... Honestly, I don't know if this is real. Someone could just be making, like, a fake, uh, PS5, you know? And, uh, making a video of it just to troll people online. You never know with this stuff, but... A lot of news websites were talking about this, uh, this past week. Uh, because first we got a photo... And then now we got a video, so people are saying, like, it has to be real if it's a video, but honestly, I don't know. We just have to wait and see what Sony says. I'm sure they're not happy with this news getting out there so soon. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of it for the big video game news this week. Thank you all for listening, for watching. Please be sure to, uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. So long and fair.